Majority of people are not aware how they need to learn Primera P6, what are the outcomes and how they need to plan it over the period of next two years. Because randomly, if you are going to learn Primera P6, it's not going to give you any benefit. Yes, I'm engineer Vakas Ahmed and I have spent 15 years in the Gulf region in oil and gas sector and I'm the coach of Primera P6 career and all that, right? And in today's video, I'm going to guide you people that how you have to make your strategy, that uh, how it will look like after after two years where you want to see yourself and where it should be right so don't get away watch this video till end and uh, before starting this video I want to make sure that you subscribe this channel so that in future if I'm going to make any video you get that link on time so in today's video I'm going to talk about the certain points uh, this is specific skill oriented video in which I'm going to guide you what if you are going to think that I'm going to learn or join this job career in which people are engineers, are B.Tech professionals, are schedulers are going to learn Primavera P6. What actually the big mistake they are doing? They are only thinking to learn about this uh, skill set to which we call Primavera P6. Just for a second, imagine that, that if you are going to learn this software, software is only give you the opportunity to find the jobs or join that kind of job which is data entry like software is only giving you that opportunity but you have to think about a career which is growing one which is giving you the more salary which is growing over the period of the time like you are starting from a junior planner not from the data entry operator as a planner right and you are joining like a planning engineer then senior planning engineer then project coordinator team lead and then project manager right if you are dreaming like that then you should stay there and watch this full video what happens when you are not thinking about the supporting subset skills like you need to understand project management project management is actually the real skill which is going to give you the insights which is going to provide that mindset which is required by the companies like how project will be scheduled how it will be uh, you know, estimated from the perspective of the cost, resources and time, right? The major constraints, what are the inside uh, methodologies, what are the processes, tools, techniques, policies, documentations and framework, which is beyond the, uh, you know, limit of this scheduler or data entry operator. So first you have to understand project management, like scope management, time management, cost management, resource management, risk management, reporting, processes and all those things because these things remain same across the building construction projects road construction projects MEP pipeline oil and gas combined cycle power plant and many more other projects right these things gonna, gonna remain same once you're gonna understand these methodologies the processes the applications you have to understand your own product like building road MEP how those uh, products will be uh, structured, will be divided into smaller parts. Like if a building is going to be constructed, that is your project, then you need to understand what is the field oriented methodology. Is it EPC project or it is non EPC project? It's oil and gas industry. Then how you need to divide that project into design, procurement, construction, then how procurement will be subdivided into long lead items, bulk items, right? So that is another thing. You have to uh, play with your data, how industry is actually performing this job role, right? So project management and product management, both things going to combine and then the data will be prepared and that data will be getting into Primavera P6. Primavera P6 is a software in which you are going to understand the functionalities, how to launch your project, how to divide your project into different kind of WBS how to make your project WBS activities, how to link up those activities with each other, right? Then how to make your project with cost management, resource management, all that data you already understood out of Primavera P6, how to make data kind of magics with that you are going to implement within Primavera P6. But when you are doing all of these things within Primavera P6, one more thing you have to consider contract management. Now contract is a 
legal document which is a sign and stamp between the different kind of parties client consultant and the contractor and there are many things given there when your project is going to start when your project is going to finish how many contractual milestones are there when design is going to start what are the payment milestones right so all you uh, need to understand from this contract documents like your data how that will be structured how that will be subdivided what are the templates all those things will be given in the contract document now you have to understand what is the process of this industry so there are four to five major things you need to understand project management product development primavera p6 process of the industry and contract management when you are going to combine all of these things together you will become a planning engineer these are the inputs and output is project schedule project schedule is a document which is the guiding or you know the document which is going to be implemented across your project timeline you know your quality people your project consultant your client your contractor is going to take all the guidelines from this document your resource management deployment is there your time management look at plans are there your cost management cash flows are there your payment methods are all there right so that is called your project schedule or baseline right right after this baseline implementation or approval you're gonna start the next phase which is called execution phase you will try your 100 percent to implement this baseline as per the commitment this is gonna be like your commitment but inside your execution phase practical phase construction phase things gonna change due to some uncertainties that is called risk management right so there you have to calculate variance what you thought and what you achieved that is called your progress development you need to develop different kind of excel based templates which are going to be reported across the timeline of your project on the frequency of weekly basis right every week you have to inform your client as a planning engineer so planning engineer got a powerful tool to report about the project status to the client and the consultant so that is the complete uh, you know skill set which i hope you understood uh, in very informative way right so first you are going to understand this skill set that is enough you should go for your baseline completion then if you are working as a senior planning engineer or kind of mid-career level planning engineer you should get expertise in project reporting recovery schedule earned value management analysis like a planning engineer having experience of one year or more than that then you should get into that one like earned value management recovery scheduling and pms as well project progress measurement sheets which will be maintained on primary p6 as well as on excel sheets i will attach few relevant links of the supporting videos out there in the detail of this video you can go there and watch those videos as well right and once you are getting into the senior management like senior planning engineer at the same time you should also start understanding the next big skill set which is the next big reality that is the billion dollar industry in us in gulf region that is eot delay analysis and claims management this skill is the next part of the planning engineer in this skill you are going to understand what if your project is gonna get delay due to some uncertainties due to some risk maybe there is monsoon rainy season maybe there are floods earthquake pandemic delays of drawings procurement delivery is delayed many reasons which can be happened by the client or by the contractor but now it happened and project is already delayed how to prepare those claim reports how to strengthen your case so that is eot delay claims senior management or senior planning engineer is going to perform that duty heavy salaries are there for those people and then psp if you are done with your planning engineering you are done with your eot delay analysis you got four to five years of experience now you need to pass that psp exam psp exam means planning scheduling professional that is uh, us based ace uh, american association of cost engineering exam right so that is the pathway for a project manager over the period of five to year six years of experience so i hope you got this skill ladder right if you like it please write there in the comment section area and if you want more out of this kind of content like you want more learning you want more practical kind of things you need to understand these things in practical way you must join my upcoming live free master class you should write there in the comment section area about your discipline about the planning engineering career your queries my team is going to approach you and add you in my upcoming live free master class and before signing off this video i would request you to subscribe this channel so my next video will get you will catch you on time
see you in my next video